All right, thank you much. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about hybrid CI/CD with Kubernetes and CodeFresh. To introduce myself very quickly, my name is Dan Garfield. I'm the Chief Technology Evangelist for CodeFresh. I'm a Google Developer Expert focused on cloud, and I'm also a member of the Forbes Technology Council. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter at Today Was Awesome. So you just think back to how the day was, and you remember that today was awesome. That's how you remember. I uh, want to thank also Costas Capilonis, who uh, has done a lot of work on this with me. Um, he's not joining me today, but uh, he blogs regularly at codefresh.io slash blog uh, and is a big help. Um, I would also recommend checking out, uh, we have a webinar on multi-cloud deployment. Just Google uh, multi-cloud deployment Codefresh, um, which is pretty cool. It shows orchestrating rollouts between multiple cloud providers. Uh, but I want to talk about hybrid. Now, hybrid is an interesting term because hybrid means, uh, frankly, it's a term that comes up every few years and means something different every time. Um, in this case, what we're talking about is not only how do I support infrastructure that is in a private cloud or on-prem or both, but also how do I manage the software delivery process across all that different infrastructure, all those different networks, and do it in a secure way. Uh, so I want to introduce you to uh, something that we've built. It's called the CodeFresh Runner. And the way it works is we install the CodeFresh Runner, uh, or you install the CodeFresh Runner on a Kubernetes cluster, and it could be on a virtual private cloud, it could be on-prem, it could be anywhere. And this then connects to the CodeFresh SaaS. Um, so you can just go log into CodeFresh.io, and the, the runner is essentially self-managing. And you can think about this problem set as when, you're, when you wanna build or, or run uh, workflows or run builds or access resources on a secure network, um, often your choice is to install and manage your own maybe open source uh, solution. Um, and that requires some management overhead, or you have to trust a cloud provider implicitly with all of your data. And I don't think any of us really love those options. Uh, managing a, a full stack of, of um, build, uh, build architecture by yourself, it's kind of a lot of work. Um, if you're running tens of thousands or thousands of builds, you're talking about managing many nodes, potentially lots of clusters, lots of secure access, lots of users, and this becomes a huge overhead and it actually slows down a lot of teams. Uh, so, Instead of being stuck with this false choice of, well, I, I, I either trust a provider implicitly or I have to run all this infrastructure myself, the CodeFresh runner works differently. Um, you can see there's here, we've got a diagram where we have lots of different Kubernetes clusters and they can be in private cloud, public cloud, they could be on-prem, they could be in Minikube, uh, could be on my laptop, right? And the CodeFresh runner is sitting there and it's basically pulling for jobs. It's looking for uh, what needs to happen. So it's looking for um, uh, configuration changes or things like that. And it's going through a essentially zero trust control plane. Now, what does that get you? Well, from a security standpoint, it means that you don't have to worry about um, trusting, you know, CodeFresh. You don't have to trust a, uh, a CI/CD provider. Um, and you don't necessarily have to really manage the infrastructure because this runner is actually going to execute on Kubernetes and it's going to take advantage of all of the Kubernetes primitives. It's essentially like an operator. Um, and you can use this also to run deployments. So you can have it uh, pull changes um, and sync them to a cluster uh, in, a, in a GitOps kind of rollout style. Um, you can also have this work in tandem with an open source operator like uh, Argo or uh, Flux. Um, and that's really useful because then you can get your business logic, uh, your rules engines and things like that kind of uh, synced up with those rollouts so that you can, you can support more complex rollouts, moving across data centers, moving across regions, that kind of thing. Um, so the CodeFresh runner is very easy to install. Um, I'm going to show you really quick what that looks like. So let me grab my window here. See, I got my hope is not a strategy background over here. <clears throat> All right, so should be able to see my terminal rather large and in charge here. 
the CodeFresh runner is very easy to install. Um, you basically just, uh, when you're connected to a Kubernetes cluster, you do CodeFresh runner init. And this will, um, this will generate private keys uh, just for that instance of the runner to connect it to the CodeFresh UI, um, uh, the CodeFresh SaaS. And then uh, it'll be able to access whatever resources are on your Kubernetes cluster or in that network. So if you have your Git provider in that network, then the runner has access to it, but CodeFresh does not. Um, so this makes it so you can use on-prem Git, you can use on-prem secrets, um, all those kinds of things, which uh, which solves all those security issues. Now, the other component here, uh, once it's installed, and if we look at kubectl git, uh, uh, let's just explore this cluster here for a second. You can see I've got a, a Kubernetes cluster with two nodes. Um, and if we look at namespaces, you can see there's a namespace code fresh. And uh, you can see that there are uh, essentially, the runner is here along with some monitoring and, and uh, tools and things like that. And this is uh, a fully running instance of the CodeFresh runner. Now, uh, to demonstrate how this works with auto scaling, and this is a really valuable thing. So this, this cluster is act actually using uh, what on Google Cloud are called preemptible nodes. On AWS, these are called spot instances. Basically, this is an option where you can run nodes from a cloud provider and they cost you no know, 90% less than regular nodes because they can be destroyed at any time. Now that might not sound like the best place to put your production uh, you know, website because these nodes are getting destroyed all the time and you, you could be worried about disruption. However, when it comes to running pipelines and workflows, that's perfect. Uh, it means we pay very, very little for the infrastructure and we, we have a high degree of failover uh, with between the CodeFresh runner and Kubernetes. So what I've done is I've made a, a little script here called spam pipelines. And what this does is I can basically put in how many pipelines I want it to run, and it will spin up that many pipelines and spit back the uh, the uh, the IDs of those pipelines as they run. So I'm gonna execute 10 pipelines. And you can see that this is gonna start spinning up jobs. And if we look over here in the CodeFresh UI, uh, even though these jobs are all running on my own Kubernetes cluster, separate from this SaaS interface, um, you can see them spinning up and showing within the UI. So you have a centralized place to manage jobs and deployments across hundreds of different clusters, regardless of where they are, if they're on-prem, if they're in clouds and they're virtual private clouds, um, this also works even with uh, intermittent connection type of situations. So, um, for example, I'll, uh, many people don't know this, but container ships moving across the ocean, shipping things, they actually, uh, uh, many of them are actually running Kubernetes clusters to provide all the local networking and services for those boats. So when they're out at sea, maybe they don't have a great internet connection, uh, but when they come into port, it'll pick up these jobs and execute on them. Now, I showed you a second ago that this Kubernetes cluster had, um, I think it was two nodes. And here we can see that it's actually started to add nodes on. Um, so now it's four nodes and uh, you can see it's starting to spin up additional nodes as it starts to schedule these pods. These, uh, each, each job is essentially its own pod. Um, it's going to spin up new instances, new nodes so that it can handle the capacity. So this gives me a super flexible workflow that is very low cost and requires virtually no maintenance. Um, now, if you think about this in terms of the alternative, which is maybe running some open source CI CD tooling that requires a, a fair amount of maintenance and, and, and tooling, um, this solution is virtually no overhead and these pipelines come with a ton of optimization built in. So each pipeline that executes actually takes advantage of local SSDs on the build node so that you have really fast IO between steps. And it also refreshes a cache um, that is handled over the network. So caching happens automatically. So you get all these speed benefits, uh, even though we're working off of infrastructure that's that's basically super elastic and can fall apart and, and come back and uh, basically expand to be whatever I need it to be. Um, so this is, again, very low cost. And from a hybrid perspective of supporting 
well, I have resources in Google Cloud. I have resources in Amazon. I have resources on-prem. I have resources that are maybe on people's laptops. Um, I don't have to worry about managing those resources, really, uh, beyond just making sure that I have a cluster with some auto-scaling enabled. Um, so this gives you that super elastic uh, and super reliable build flow, and it's made for scaling. So the purpose of the CodeFresh runner is to provide zero uh, overhead, zero maintenance overhead, scalable build execution uh, or deployments. So you can check this out at codefresh.io. Um, you can uh, use it for free. It's actually free to use the CodeFresh runner uh, within some limits. Um, and like I said, the installation process is very simple. You just install the CodeFresh CLI and log in, and then you do the CodeFresh runner init in order to install it on your cluster. Um, and this will create and connect it to your CodeFresh account. And from there, you can basically uh, uh, just scale up your builds and, and workflows. And again, this works really well with deployments. Um, so uh, if you want to pull changes onto a cluster and apply them, you can do that with the CodeFresh runner, or you can pair it with a GitOps operator like uh, Argo, uh, which is very common as well. Uh, so jumping forward a little bit. Um, this, this component that we're looking at, like I said, it's fully independent. Um, it gives you your, the engine automatically, it manages all the pipeline volumes. It's standard for Kubernetes. So no matter what Kubernetes instance you're using, it's going to work easily and smoothly. It's going to plug in all the monitoring. Um, it, it's self upgrading. So every time the workflow up, uh, uh, executed it actually always gets the latest version of the engine. So that you don't have to worry about upgrading it, um, outside of a few very specific scenarios. And of course, you can manage multiple runtimes. Uh, so you can basically bring everything in one place. Um, the way that I'm going to skip forward a little bit. So yeah, so you can have the these execute on location, like I mentioned, um, whether that's uh, in the CodeFresh SaaS, AWS Cloud, on-premise data center, whatever. But you can also support multiple runtimes. So Linux, ARM, Windows, all of those are um, supported. Um, I'm going to skip a little bit some of this stuff. So in summary, you can check this out for free at codefresh.io. You can try out the runner um, and support your hybrid workflows. And uh, you're going to get all of the optimizations that come right inside, out, right out of the box with CodeFresh. Um, so it's very easy to use and it's free to, to use um, within some limits. Uh, so it's definitely worth checking out. And as you uh, have experiences with it, please hit me up on Twitter at Today Was Awesome. I'd love to hear what you think about it. This is something that we launched just recently, but it is already the most popular option with our enterprise customers, whether they're fintech companies, banking companies, um, retail companies, media companies, gaming companies. Uh, the CodeFresh Runner basically is a have your cake and eat it too solution uh, because it doesn't require the overhead and you get the security. So uh, that's, that's my talk. Feel free to check it out at codefresh.io.